Hey, what's up? So today I want to go over a case study on Miro or Miro, however you want to pronounce it. And uh, you might have heard about these guys, but they're essentially a collaborative whiteboard type of platform, right? Uh, essentially, I can even show you here how they work. If I go to my dashboard really quickly, essentially it allows you to create these super simple dashboards. It's also where I do presentations. So my last YouTube video was on here. Uh, you can write stuff, you can uh, do whatever you want. Essentially a dashboard app, but you can uh, share it with your team. So a lot of different people can draw on here and create like roadmaps and all that. So this is the product and um, they're very, very success successful. Uh, their annual revenue, of course, these numbers, you never know if they're right or wrong, but they're a hundred million year plus company and they've been around for a while. But uh, I'm not just going to go over them because they're successful. I'm going to go over them because I found something really interesting they're doing uh, in regards to SEO. So before that, let me just uh, copy their domain here and go over to Veta to campaigns. Essentially, I'm going to use uh, the latest feature on Veta, which is the campaigns. Let's do Miro case, sorry, case study and this will allow me to gather a lot of information on their site so let's just wait a few seconds for this to load and I'll be right back okay so we're here and uh, this gives me a ton of data on the site which is essentially what I'm going to use to do this case study so of course they're really successful uh, their organic keyword rankings uh, are 216,000 so I mean they've kept a pretty consistent uh, growth throughout the years they've declined here since September last year but this decline is minimal in comparison to the big picture right um, of course, the top keywords, I want to look at this in just a second, uh, their backlinks, uh, a big company like this, it's not really worth it to look at the backlinks because the backlinks are a minimal part of their success, right? Of course, because they're huge, they're going to have a ton of powerful backlinks uh, coming their way. Now, what I do want to look at first is their top pages. Of course, the help uh, articles, I'm going to do a little zoom here so you can see a bit more. Um, now they have a mind map, which I do want to take a look and then an online whiteboard. But what I want to look at and what's really interesting about their strategy is these uh, templates. OK, these forward slash templates, which I'll cover in just a second. Uh, now, as you can see here, uh, these two ones, their idea is to try and rank for online whiteboard. Of course, that's why I have a dedicated page for this. And it is uh, welcomes you with a, a call to action, right? To just start uh, getting it done uh, without needing to sign up. Right. So this is. In terms of user experience, it is very smart. In terms of user experience, it is very smart doing it this way. Um, and this mind map, again, they're trying to rank for it, the mind map category, which is something that's often used, uh, as you can see here, uh, to um, essentially brain uh, dump your brain and see where you want to go uh, in uh, anything that you're doing. You can use this for business or per for personal life. But again, back to the templates. And uh, as you can see here, the top pages, the four slash template pages, this is getting almost 5k uh, searches a month. And they have a bunch of these. So let me just open this one, two, what do we have here as well? More templates, more templates, uh, more four slash templates, one more. So a bunch of their top pages. So the ones that are getting more traffic are the four slash templates pages. And this is very, very smart. Essentially what they're doing, if I can go here really quickly to the uh, the main one, so the four slash templates, these ones are four slash templates and then the template name. But if, I, if I can go here to the main one and similarly to what Canva is doing, and I do have to do a case study on Canva, they're essentially creating templates for anything that you can create inside of a whiteboard. So as I showed you here, you can essentially use this for anything, right? You can do a mind map, you can do a Kanban framework template, a service blueprint, blueprint, sorry, a flow chart, temp, uh, flow chart for your business. Uh, you can do timetables. So as you can see here, they have templates for literally anything, right? Team meeting agenda template, one on one meeting template. And what they do here is they create a bunch of these templates, right? And a bunch of these template pages, again, mirror.com forward slash templates forward slash fishbone diagram. All these ones have dedicated pages for dedicated templates. Sorry, are, are dedicated pages for dedicated templates. And as I show you here, these ones are getting a bunch of traffic. Most of their, um, of course, their top page is going to be the home page. But uh, if we sum up the traffic, the amount of traffic these all these template pages are getting, these are the pages that are bringing in the most traffic. So it makes sense that they keep and they're keeping on adding more and more templates to their uh, templates page. As you can see here, they essentially are trying to create template pages for anything you can search online. So if you're searching for, for example, let's do uh, business model canvas template, this is a, a, a something people search for, right? Um, 
you're going to get uh, a, rec uh, a recommendation from essentially going to get this page right um, of course these are all is, this is all for SEO purposes uh, it's a long term long tail article uh, fully optimized and you can even use our latest exen extension sorry you can download this for free I'll leave a link in the description um, of course the meta title business model canvas the the um, the main keyword because people often look for templates meta description as well uh, keyword optimized uh, and if we look here at the addings um, the H1, not really sure why it's not appearing here. It should be, oh, it is down here. Of course, the H1 will be your exact match keyword. Um, so it is very, very well optimized. And of course, the call to action here. So um, what I wanted to say again, and again, I'm kind of, kind of rambling, is that it makes sense for a business like this that essentially their uh, business model is to get people to use their whiteboard, to think about all the different things people can do in this whiteboard, and then create template pages so that the people that are searching for something template go directly to these pages and get to work on the whiteboard because their product is the same right their product is essentially a whiteboard so a white canvas and they were very smart to uh think about okay so what are all the things people can do on this white canvas they can do business templates they can do timetables they can do uh, flow charts they can do um, mind maps they can do all this so let's be found by every single one of these so let's create dedicated pages for these and let's try and rank for business model canvas template uh, timeline template uh, infographic template venn diagram template and these are all things that people search for and if we go here back again to uh, vetted uh, we can take a look at the competitors as well this needs a, a revamp uh, we're still working a bit on this is only in beta um, we can look here at their top keywords of course um, this one uh, Timer, this is a, a bit weird. Oh, yeah, so this, uh, yeah, this, we still need to do some improvements here, uh, but this is not really a keyword that uh, gives you um, any uh, buyer intent, right? So, of course, the uh, branded keywords, Miro or Miro, uh, mind maps, or the ranking for mind map, number one. It is a, a absolute, gets, this keyword gets an absolute volume of, of, uh, of searches and a bunch of clicks. Um, storyboard, again, a template, uh, forward slash template page. What else we have here? Um, Flowchart maker. And it is, it is interesting that some of these, uh, I'm guessing they're older because they don't have the forward slash template here. Uh, I'm not too sure why. Uh, I mean, I guess it's here. So yeah, they do have a version for template and a version not for template. I'm not too sure why this is, honestly. I, I'm guessing it is, yeah, this one, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this one is more of a introductory page so they can uh, have links to different, uh, different, because I guess a flowchart can have different types of flowcharts inside of it. So there's the basic quote unquote flowchart and there's the cross functional flowchart, which should be, yeah, it's a, a four slash template. So yeah, it is a, a category, I'm guessing this is a category, and these subcategories are inside the uh, four slash templates um, pages. Uh, what else we have here? Another another template for Gantt chart. Uh, this will be, of course, a just as we talked about here, a main category. I'm guessing. You no, know, this is just the linking to the whiteboard. What else we have here? Um, again, a templates one. Um, concept map. I'm guessing that this is this will have a bunch of uh, links to the uh, four slash template pages. Uh, not this one doesn't have actually. Uh, what else we have here? Again, four slash templates, four slash templates. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I guess I, I, I've already proved my point. Uh, these pages are getting a ton of traffic because these guys are ranking for these uh, keywords, right? These uh, buyer, buyer intent keywords uh, with the four slash pages. And I do think it is very smart. I do think it's uh, something that they've done here that is quite clever, right? Because I'm trying to put myself in their shoes. If I had a business that essentially was a online uh, whiteboard, how could I get people to use it? So it's really interesting that they thought about all the use cases and then built um, content and pages around that. It's quite interesting. I guess I, um, I thought I'd share, with you, share it with you, sorry. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you can take some um, something from this. When I record these case studies, it's essentially to, uh, for me to, because I liked watching the, how, how uh, businesses uh, go about their SEO strategy. And if you can, of course, uh, take any gold nuggets from this to implement in your sites, it is valuable as well for you. So hopefully you like it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to try this out, this is 
completely free, right? You can get uh, limited sites for now on, on this. You can get a ton of info. You can do full audits with, it, with all these tools. No need to pay for Ahrefs because it's quite expensive. Uh, for Moz, for any other software, this is free. And it gets you essentially all the info you need. So we didn't want to overcrowd this with useless info. So all this that's in here right now, it is useful. Uh, there's no uh, useful uh, useless info uh, so yeah hopefully you liked it and this plugin again you can download it for free in the description it is a great way to also um, audit the site whenever you need so that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very very soon bye, -bye.